got a Bible today. We'll be along with us. We'll be in Exodus chapter 2 as we look at the Word of God this morning. Exodus chapter 2. And the Bible says, my friend, 
chosen generations and a peculiar people, a holy nation unto the Lord our God. We are the anointed and the elect of God. We have found favor with the Most High God because He loved us long before we ever loved Him. My God, then I want you to understand that Moses had a misidentity. He was mistaken about who he was until the day he got tired of living that life. Praise God. Listen to me. You got to get tired of living the ways of an Egyptian before you can ever determine to be the people of God. Amen. You got to quit letting the world tell you who you are and let God and his word define who you are. Listen to what the Bible says in verse 11. It came to pass when he was grown that he went out to the field. He saw the Egyptian taskmaster smiting one of the Hebrew slaves. And the Bible says in verse 12, he looked this way and that way. And when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. Listen to me. He went out there into the field where they were slaves to work. And one of the taskmasters was beaten up on one of the slaves. And it had come to Moses to do something about it. Because Moses knew, the Bible says in Acts chapter 7, in his heart what God had called him to do. He knew in his heart that he was to deliver the children of Israel. Now listen to me. I want you to understand one thing this morning. It's really important that we discern what God's will is for our life. But it's of the utmost importance that we understand not just God's will, but God's way and God's appointed time. Because you can't rush the work of the Lord. Amen. You got to know that God is a God who is sovereign in control. On time, when God implements a plan for God, He already has a way. He don't need our ideas. He don't need our loftiness of mind. He don't need our understanding for God. He don't need our thoughts. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His ways are higher than our ways. The Bible says, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. For God, there is you can tell God uh, that he don't already know, for God. Uh, there is no information uh, that you can enlighten God with. Uh, you won't never give him a revelation. Uh, you won't tell him uh, something uh, he doesn't know, for God. Uh, but I can tell you this. Uh, if you think uh, that you can get where God uh, is trying to bring you uh, the purpose that he has uh, planned for your life uh, without his way uh, and his time, uh, you're foolish uh, with all this misunderstanding. You got to know that God has a plan and you can't rush it. Amen. You can't rush it. You got to wait upon the Lord. The Bible said that when he saw that Egyptian taskmaster smiting that Hebrew slave, he looked a different way and he looked that way. <laughs> this is me. If you got to look this way and you got to look that way, and I don't tell you about what you're fixing to do, ain't quite right. If you gotta look this way and then look that way to see if anybody's watching, to see if anybody's gonna see it, to see if it's gonna be revealed, this friend, you better know, you better look up for God, because they may not be no man or watching, but my God is an all knowing and an all seeing God. You can't hide from Him for God. Ain't nothing been hidden from God, and that which is done in the darkness shall come out. It shall be revealed. He killed him and hid him in the sand, for God. Listen to me, put him in the sand, trying to cover it up, trying to hide it, as if it would go away. Listen to me. The reason it don't go away for so many of us, the reason it keeps getting uncovered is because the wind of the Holy Spirit begins to blow. And all of a sudden, uh, that which is covered uh, begins to uncover. That which was on top of uh, begins to be loose, break God. Uh, because God uh, is bringing it back uh, to your attention uh, one more time. Uh, because God said, uh, it ain't where it needs to be. Uh, oh, you can cover it with sand. Uh, you can cover it with fig leaves. Uh, and it ain't going away, break God. Uh, in Genesis chapter 3, uh, when Adam and Eve sinned uh, against God uh, and ate the fruit of the tree, 
you're going to take that rod and you're going to bring out the children of Israel to the Red Sea. And if you're going to hold that old stick over that Red Sea, and God's going to part that thing hither and thither, and God's going to walk across on dry ground, straight up on out of Egypt. Thank God. Peter said it'll never happen that way. Won't never happen like that. Let me tell you something, my friend. It'll happen just like God said it'll happen. Because God has no limitations. God has no impossibilities. There is nothing that God cannot do. Listen to me. Who can stay the hand of the Lord? Who can stop God? When God speaks it, it's done. When God says it, it'll come to pass. When God touches it, pray God, it cannot be denied. I'm talking to somebody. Who needs to know that even though you may find yourself in a wilderness place, God's got you there because God's working it out. Even when you don't know God's working it out. I don't know how long you'll have to be there. I don't know if it'll be a few days, a few weeks, a few years. I don't know if it'll be 40. Like old Moses was there. But when God has prepared you, he will call you out of the wilderness because God has If you're a child of God this morning, you're either going into the wilderness, you're in the wilderness, or you're coming out on the other side of the wilderness. You may be that one looking back at where you once was to realize that it was that wilderness journey. It was that wilderness experience. Oh, somebody used to get on me. Amen. You ever seen a baby pray to God? I can get a certain age and start cutting teeth. That's why they call it. All the misses drool. They get aggravated. I mean, they just at least little thing just sets them off. Praise God. You got to get up there the night or early the morning. Get up the night. Just irritated. Just aggravated. Uh, you know what I mean? Just uh, 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 teeth are trying to come in, and they, they call it cutting teeth. You know it, but it's like that in a Christian life. So many times huh, we need to cut our teeth huh, on the spiritual things huh, that God has prepared for us. Huh. It's the violence, huh. it's the wilderness, huh. it's the trenches, huh. it's the problems, huh. it's the circumstance, huh. it's the situation, huh. it's the cancer, huh. it's the divorce, huh. it's the unreconciled child. Huh. It's all of those things huh, that God's saying to us, huh. cut your teeth, pray God, huh. because it won't be long. Huh. I'm going to bring you out of this wilderness journey, pray God. Huh. It won't be long. Huh. That I'm going to establish uh, my going in you. Uh, it won't be long uh, that the fruits uh, of your labor uh, will be evident uh, in your life. Uh, and this too uh, shall come uh, to pass, for God. Oh, yeah. The Bible says in verse 23 in the process uh, of time. I don't even know time is a process. It's a process. It's a time and period uh, of which God is working things out. And the promise of God's word for every child of God is that God worked all things together for good to them who love the Lord and are called according to His purpose. God works it out. You're looking at it right now and you're saying there ain't no way God can work it out. There ain't no way that I can love her or love him like I used to. There ain't no way that I can find the way to forgive them and set them free and set myself free from that which is bound me and enslaved me. Oh, they've been a drunk for 30 years. They've been on every kind of dope known to man. There ain't no way. But I'm telling you today, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man coming to the Father, but me, says, I'm telling you today, there's a way up and there's a way out. And God, there's healing in the name of Jesus. There's deliverance for the captive today. Because when Jesus Christ sets us free, we are free indeed, for God. You just can't hide it, you, you got to stop hiding it. You got to stop covering it up. He got to stop making excuses about it. He got to stop blaming everybody else uh, and take responsibility uh, for the choices uh, that you made, praise God. You're responsible. 
You're accountable. And friend, God loves you and wants to forgive you for what's wrong in your life. Yeah, man. He said to me, and there are many and he sat down on my will, the Bible said. Moses went 280 miles southeast of Egypt, wound up in the Sinai Peninsula. There are many. <laughs> Moses was a long way from home. He was a long way from anybody that he knew. And friend, I want you to understand something today. The wilderness don't have to be a far, far away place. You can be in the wilderness and be in church every Sunday morning. You can be in the wilderness traveling up and down the road singing songs for the gospel. You can find yourself in a parched place, in a dry place. You can find yourself in a place, my friend, where you feel alone, where you feel forgotten, where you think the mistake and the mess up that you made will never be overcome. But friend, I want you to know today that God is so gracious. <laughs> oh, He's loving and merciful. Oh, He's an amazing God. That He would love us enough to send His Son, Jesus Christ, that he would become sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Send Moses to me to work it out. There come a day when God called him out of me. Come to him in chapter 3 in the burning bush. Called to him, he said, Here, my turn to the burning bush will not be consumed. I told Moses, Take the shoes off thy of feet. The ground where I'm not standing is holy ground. You've tried it to a way. You try to fix it. You try to solve the problem. You try to be better. You try to heal. You try to own the flesh. You try to quit. Only to find yourself back in the end. You try to hide it, cover it up, and put on a religious mask and that wrong. But you can't hide it no more. Thank you.